Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum. I am Abdullah Abu Bakr. Today I am going to address the most asked questions of pet owners. Vaccination in cat. If you have a cat at home or if you are thinking of adopting one, what should be the vaccination schedule? What is basically a vaccine and why it is so important? Let's have a look in this video. Starting with what is vaccine? Vaccine is basically a real pathogen. Like for example, if you are vaccinating your pet against rabies, then you are injecting a real rabies virus. But don't worry. It is a weakened or dead one. It just induces the immune system of your pet to produce immunity against that specific disease. Why it is so important? Because it just protects the animal from that specific disease. And in any case, if your animal got exposed to that specific disease, it will not be a full potential disease. Vaccination does not only protect your pet from various infectious diseases, but it also protects you and your family from various zoonotic diseases like rabies. Now we are talking about types of vaccine. There are two types of vaccine, core vaccines and non-core vaccines. Core vaccine should be injected to all the pets. However, non-core vaccine should be injected on the basis of prevalence of diseases there and uh, medical history of it. What are basically the core vaccines of cats? It includes the feline parvovirus that is panleukopenia and feline calcivirus and feline herpivirus and feline rabies virus. However, the non-core vaccine includes FIV virus and feline leukemia virus etc. First of all, all the core vaccines are used in Pakistan. That is abbreviated as PCH. P for panleukopenia or parvovirus, C for calci and H for herpes virus. However, the rabies, it is injected at least at the 12 weeks age. Now, I am talking about vaccination schedule with reference to World Small Animal Veterinary Association vaccination guidelines. On week 5 or one week before first dose of vaccination, deworming is very important as many of the worms came from the mother. So deworming just uh, reduces the worm load of your cat or kitten and it also boosts the immunity so that the immune system can make immunity against that specific disease. On week 6, you have to give the first dose of PCH that is panleukopenia, calcium and herpes virus. On week 9, you have to repeat it. On week 12, you have to add rabies virus in this like PCH plus rabies and on week 16 you have to again inject PCH plus rabies. Remember that it is not hard and fast rule that you should have to inject the booster dose within 3 weeks. You should have to inject the booster dose within 4 weeks window. Why 4 doses? I will tell you this question in my next video that is vaccination failure and reactions. Then after these 4 booster doses you have to give annual doses of PCH and rabies vaccine. If you have started your uh, kitten vaccination at week 7, week 8 or week 9, then these are some other schedules for your vaccination. But remember, at least 4 doses of vaccination should be injected. But if you have an adult cat that has no vaccination history, then you have to deworm your cat one week before the vaccination. One week after deworming, you have to give the first dose of vaccination that will include PCH plus rabies and two to four weeks apart you have to give another booster of PCH plus rabies and then you have to give annual doses of PCH plus rabies. Like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel to have more videos like this. Thank you so much.